Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are going to do the part 2 or the section 2 of the part 7 of the series of 8 tutorials and this will be about update related data for Razor pages with entity framework in, in entity framework core in ASP.NET core and we will be continuing to build our Contours of Web application. Now in this section 2 which is the last of the two sections of the part 7 will update the instructor pages. Now the following sections update the instructor pages and will first add an office location. When an editing an instructor record, you may want to update the instructor's office assignment. The instructor entity has a 1 to 0 or 1 relationship with the office assignment entity if you recall from our one of the past lectures and the instructor code must handle if the user clears the office assignment delete the office assignment entity. If the user enters an office assignment it, and it was empty, create new office assignment and if the user changes the office assignment, update the office assignment entity. Now we will start by updating the instructor edit page model with the code as per the documentation. So we will head back straight to the Visual Studio. So we will go to the um, edit page model. So we'll go for pages, instructors, edit. This is the edit page model. And here I will change this to class. So I'll just copy the entire class and paste the code from the documentation. Right, and then get rid of this unnecessary uh, using statement. And this is actually school context is coming from the Contos University dot models namespace. So there we go. Now, in this preceding code, it gets the current instructor entity from the database using eager loading for the office assignment navigation property. So it gets the on get async code, it will get the related instructor entity from the database using eager loading. And it updates the retrieved instructor entity with values from the model binder. And try update model prevents over posting. That's what it does on post async method so this block and this try update model async that actually avoids over posting which you will be covering in one of the future lectures and if the office location is blank it sets the instructor.office assignment to null and when the instructor.office assignment is null the new the related row in the office assignment table is deleted. That's happening in this part of the if loop. So if the office assignment is null for an instructor, the related row in the office assignment table is deleted. And next we will update the instructor edit page. So we'll get back to the code. So instructor edit page the razor page uh, and copy over the entire code and paste from my clipboard and in here we'll have to test that we can change the instructor's office location. So, getting back to the code, we'll run the application. First, we'll build it.
and then we'll run the application with control plus F5 hotkey. So instructors, now we'll go for an instructor with an office. Say so we will edit this entry, Goan 17. So we'll just change it with Goan 78 and click on save to see if it changes. So Goan 78 for this. So that's what we wanted to check. Next is we will be adding course assignment to the instructor edit page. So the finished edit page for the instructor will look like this. There are a lot of check boxes for each of the course. There will be course name and the course title. Now instructors may teach any number of courses. In this section, we add the ability to change course assignments. The adjacent image shows the updated instructor code edit page. A course and instructor has many to many relationships. That means one, uh, many courses can be taught by many instructors. That means one course can be taught by many instructors and one instructor can teach many courses. So this is many to many relationship. Uh, now these checkboxes enable changes to courses as instructor is assigned to. A checkbox is dis displayed for every course in the database. Courses that the instructor is assigned to are checked. If a course is assigned to a particular instructor, say A, so this A, this course will be checked against the instructor A. Now, user can select or clear checkboxes to change the course assignments. Now, we will next add a class, add classes to support create and edit instructor pages. Now, we will create a class name assigned course data within the school view model. So, um, we will copy this in the school view model, models, school view model, click on right click and then add class and then name this class as assign course data and then change the code from the documentation to look like this so it has got a assign course data is a view model which has got three items which is a course id is a primary key and a title and assigned. Now this assigned course data class contains data to create the check boxes for the assigned courses by the instructor. Now we will create another base class which is instructor courses page model. So that will be inside the instructors. add class, we will name this class instructor courses page model, instructor courses page model and change the code so that it derives from the base class of page model, right? Now, this is the instructor courses page model is the base class we will use for the edit and create page models. Populate assigned course data reads all the course entities to populate assigned course data list. So that is this one. What does it do? It reads all the course entities to populate assigned course data list this select statement. For each course, the course sets the course ID. Okay. Title, course ID and title and whether 
or not the instructor is assigned to the course. Instructor courses dot contains course dot course ID. Okay. And what is instructor does? Instructor courses. This is new hash set of integer. Instructor dot course assignment dot select. So instructor a particular course which instructor is assigned to a particular course right and hash set is used to create efficient lookups now we'll update next the instructor edit page model instructor edit page model so go back to the code instructor edit page model Uh, copy the code and change the entire class from here to the end control V I've changed and then correct the error that we are now quite familiar with so it comes from the contest university dot model namespace erroneously written in the documentation from which I am getting the code right so this time this is um, this code handles the office assignment changes okay now we'll have to change the razor view as well so edit.cshtml So highlight everything and paste the code from my clipboard All right so now the explanation of this code is this code creates an HTML table that has three columns so here it is creating an HTML table and that has got three columns each column has a checkbox and a caption containing the course number and title checkbox that has got a course number and a title course ID and course title okay course number is course ID when the page is posted, um, using the same name informs the mod. The checkboxes all have the same name selected courses. Using the same name informs the model binder to treat them as a group. The value attribute of each checkbox is set to course ID. So when the page is posted, the model binder passes an array that consists of the course ID values for only the checkboxes that are selected. So when all the checkboxes are initially rendered, the courses assigned to the instructor have checked attributes. So they will come as checked. The courses assigned to a particular instructor will be rendered as being checked. Now we'll have to run the app next to test the updated instructor's edit page. And we'll change some course assignments. Okay. So um, Control shift B, build it again. Succeeded, it's great. Instructors and what are you supposed to do is um, some course assignment. We can change to test it. Okay, edit. So instead of calculus, we we'll make it to calculus and chemistry and say um, artificial intelligence and for this Fakuri. Uh, so calculus, chemistry, artificial intelligence. So that's fine. 
right so these four are already checked so that's working now the approach here is to edit instructor course data and it works well when there is a limited number of courses for collections that are much larger a different ui and a different updating method would be more usable and efficient we'll leave that to the users to figure out and you can check with stack overflow and other forums to to such kind of things now next we'll update the instructor create page model with the code from the microsoft document okay instructor create page model it straight instructors create page model so create.cshtml.cs file and update the create page model and you highlight everything and paste the code new code and what it does now this code is similar to the edit page model code and similarly we will update the create razor page with markup so uh, get back to the razor page and the code here is already copied on my clipboard and just paste it and there are certain changes here and the changes are here div class within this div there are some changes okay So these are the changes that have been done. Here, plus here, entire form of code. Permanent form, right. Now, Finally, we will test the instructor create page. So, again, we will build the application. There is some error. Okay. So, I just forgot to change this part. Now I have corrected this. So it should build. Will succeed it. Right. So if you run this application now, and what am I supposed to see? instructor create page so instructors create new let's create a new last name say Illingworth Railing with a higher date Let's say any arbitrary date office location is a Burnside twenty three calculus
Okay, here it is. Calculus one side twenty three. That's fine. So lastly, we will update the instructor delete page model with the code from the Microsoft documents. So instructor delete page. So within instructor delete page. delete page right so this page I'll have to change so I have now copied code from the clipboard which is from Microsoft documentation and highlight everything and then control V okay there are certain changes and I'll build it and then explain Uh, is again missing something okay again these changes stupid changes which were now Microsoft also knows and they will bring those changes in the next update of the documentation that's what they said so now we'll succeed it so this code makes the following changes. It uses eager loading for the course assignment navigation property. Course assignment must be included or they are deleted when the instructor is deleted. So to avoid needing to read them, config, we have to configure cascade delete in the database. If the instructor to be deleted is assigned as administrator of any departments, it removes the instructor assignment from those departments. Okay, so if you go back here refresh and delete one of the rows that key member comment delete so that is no more okay that's fine. That's the end of this section 2 of part 7. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial and the series of tutorial, please share it, like it, comment it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.